Well, good afternoon and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about um, one of the problems that are uh, haven't really been aggressively addressed. Um, we have, um, as I see it, we have three problems. We have uh, people that are being infected with COVID-19 still now, and then we have uh, patients that are, are, are dying and, and really sick that we're trying to treat. And then there's a third category, as I see it, and those are patients that have had COVID-19 and they're over their, you know, they're through the infection and they're back to their daily routine, but they have these symptoms that are still lingering. Uh, shortness of breath, fatigue, cough, headache, uh, burning sensation, um, brain fog, these symptoms that continue to plague them in a sense. And so that's what I want to talk about today because as we move through this pandemic, um, that's going to be a problem with the people that have been infected. And so I want to talk a little bit about that and give you some things um, uh, that you might do. So let's talk about why these people continue to have these symptoms like months after they've been infected with this COVID-19. Well, as I see it, there's two parts to, the, to this infection. Uh, you have the, the first part where the virus, uh, you're infected with the virus, it goes into your system, it uh, causes you to have the fever and the chills and uh, fatigue and maybe a little shortness of breath if you have mild to moderate symptoms and within 14 days you're feeling better you may get tested again you may be negative and so you're you're pretty much ready to go back out into the community uh, barring wearing the mask social distancing and sanitizing your hands so why do these people have these symptoms if everything seemingly is over and the virus is gone okay well what happens uh, with this infection when the virus comes into our bodies and and infects our bodies we have uh, our immune system our, our, our superpower in our bodies is our immune system. And so when the virus comes in, what happens is it throws our immune system into a very chaotic state. Um, I'm sure that maybe some of you all have heard about the cytokine storm. What that means is that we have a, we have a heterogeneous or uh, several different kind of immune cells that respond to this COVID-19. And so what happens is when you're infected with COVID-19 and your immune system is triggered and it goes hyperimmune and everything just goes very chaotic and you get what's called this cytokine storm, at the end of the 14 days, you're, you're feeling better from the viral infection, but you now have the hyperimmune response that you have to deal with. And so what happens is weeks to months out, you still have these inflammatory cells that are running rampant, that are running rampant in your body. This overabundance of inflammatory and pro-inflammatory cells, um, which you probably have heard as a cytokine storm is still elevated in your body even after the 14 days. And that is what is causing patients to have these symptoms. So, so what Dr. Patterson has, has identified are the specific cells that cause cough, muscle pain, headache, has a good idea of which, which, what these cells are. And so now, now that we know, first of all, now that we know why people are having symptoms, and now that we know which cells, which inflammatory cells are responsible for, say, the burning sensation, the headache, now we can target 
our treatment towards that. Dr. Patterson has, um, he's really um, wanting people to send a sample of their blood to him and he can run a series of immunologic testing on your blood and it can tell um, which of these inflammatory cells is out of control. If you send uh, a sample of your blood to him, he can tell you exactly where you stand immunologically. And I think that um, a lot of people uh, don't know about this. Or th they don't know that there's this, um, this research that Dr. Patterson's been doing since June. He didn't, this just, it didn't just pop up. He's been, he's been working very hard on this. And of course, we know the priority is to get the vaccine now. The priority is to keep people from getting infected, wear the mask, you know, social distance. So, so there's priorities. But again, number three are people that have been infected that are suffering from long COVID, otherwise known as long haulers disease. Um, I'm going to leave his information. You've already seen it on the screen. I'm going to leave it in the captions below. And um, you can, if you have any questions about that, send, you can send me comments. I can get you connected up with him and you can uh, start to get better. Or at least there's hope for you because these symptoms otherwise can go on for months. Uh, they can go on for months. There's been people that were infected back in, in June that are still having these symptoms these long COVID symptoms. The vaccine, I know there's a lot of talk and scare, fear around the vaccine, but I got the vaccine on Friday. And a little soreness, no nausea, no headache, no fever, chills, muscle ache or anything. And the, pain, the uh, muscle pain is gone, pretty much gone today. I'll be going back for my second dose. And remember, when you get your first dose, there's about a two week window where you are, where your body's making the antibodies. So let's say that I was exposed to somebody two days before I got the vaccine and I start to have symptoms this week. I didn't get it from the vaccine. <laughs> I, I got it from being exposed to someone. Now these two weeks, as long as I can practice mask and uh, social distancing and washing my hands, because in two weeks, I'll be 50% uh, covered, uh, effective 50%. After the second dose, it goes up to 95% eff efficacy. So there's, there's, a, there's 90, I'm 95% covered. And so it's going to be very hard for me to contract COVID-19. But that's me. We have to get 80% of our country immune before we can start thinking about taking the mask off and not, you know, doing all the things that we have to do that open, things can start to open up. 80% and... Um, the last time I checked, remember I said it was about, we were about 15%. As of December the 14th, there had been 7.3 million vaccines given in the United States. I'm sure it's been more than that. That's, that was, you know, almost two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So we're getting there, but you know, please, Go get vaccinated, and uh, if you're if it's your turn to get vaccinated, it's not that bad. You don't even feel the vaccine. If the shots, you don't feel. It's, uh, I'm telling you, um, I can't think of anything else uh, right now. But um, we'll be back next week. I hope you enjoyed. I hope there was something said that um, helps you uh, along. And um, if you like this video, give me a like. If you want to be part of our community, hit the su subscribe button, subscribe button below, and you'll get a, you know, you'll get a little ding when we're doing something. And we're, and we're going to do this each week, and, um, and, and, and we're doing this for people that don't uh, really have, the, you know, how, the facts and how this works and don't have the understanding. 
And so that's why we're putting this information out there for you. Mm -hmm.